please note the disclaimer. It's time we wander to that weird corner of YouTube again. There are certain rules most cartoons follow that allow their cartoons to be ticked off by the censors. However, sometimes a cartoon will give the big middle finger to these rules. Good night and fuck you. Often these highly controversial cartoons will be banned in many countries, or censored to make them watchable. Reasons can range from racist jokes, graphic violence, or even our hero doing something not so heroic. I really enjoy talking about controversy, so today we're going to take a break from mainstream TV and look back at the top 10 most controversial cartoons of all time. Number 10. The Flintstones. Winston Cigarettes. <laughs> Something I never realized before is that Fred has been a massive marketing sellout since his creation. He's pushed Bush beer, grape jelly, minerals, Denny's, cereal, NFL, cigarettes? You will be amazed when you see this commercial. Within one minute and 21 seconds, this commercial manages to objectify women, mislead viewers about cigarettes, and cause lung cancer to Fred and Wilma. As you could imagine, a company could only get away with this a very long time ago. It's both weird and intriguing. If you want to give it a look, I've posted the YouTube link. Number 9. Family Guy. Partial Terms of Endearment. The only Family Guy episode that has so far not been allowed to air in the United States. It tackles... Abortion, and I feel like I just lost several subscribers just by using that word. Basically, Lois becomes a surrogate mother for her old friend who can't have children. In the months that follow, the biological parents are killed, of course. Despite Peter's objections, eventually Lois decides to choose abortion. I don't want to give this one too much attention, as I think it was purposely made to be as insensitive as possible, so it would get banned. Now, Lois, I'm here to save the unborn. Once they get out of the vagina, they can go fuck themselves. It's really nothing to write home about. Feel free to check it out if you want, but I'd personally give it a skip. Number 8. Invader Zim. Zim was one of those shows that was never huge, but it developed an underground cult following. It was everything dark, twisted, and disturbing about Nickelodeon times 10. It was the bloodthirsty Cobra of Nickelodeon, portraying all of society as this zombie-like, grotesque race. For those who don't know, it's a show about an alien called Zim, who's sent by his race to the useless planet of Earth, because he's too incompetent to be sent to invade a real planet. The series was cancelled after about 45 episodes. One of the suspected reasons for this was its most macabre episode, Dark Harvest, wherein Zim goes around his school harvesting organs from each child in order to make himself human. But Zim also has a brilliant sense of humor. So you can see, children, that our whole society is nothing more than a perilous house of cards, destined to collapse under its own weight and stands far above the usual tweeny sitcoms we get in Nickelodeon nowadays. I can't think of a single character in this show I didn't like. And I still hear friends quote lines from this show even a decade after its release. A room with a moose! Nah! Wait a minute. If you can find a copy of Invader Zim, I'd really recommend checking it out. The knowledge it fills me! It is neat! Number 7. Dexter. Root removal. So you're all then? Yeah, we're gonna go fuck up your lab! You know you're in for an unusual episode when Nickelodeon starts the opening with the main characters giving you the middle finger. The only Nickelodeon cartoon to ever receive a blanket permanent ban from ever being shown. Why? Dexter and Dee Dee get all the politeness removed from them and start using some very colorful language you wouldn't hear in most adult cartoons. I think it tastes like shit. Oh! 
find some fucking food. I don't know how the writers thought they would get away with this on children's television, but it still makes for a very fun episode. I've also posted the link to this one in case you want to take a look. I'm not rude, you are. Number six. Captain Planet. Mind pollution. Remember that after-school special Captain Planet? Well, in one episode, Linka's cousin gets hooked on heroin. Wait, what? Seriously? This is Cartoon Network? And then secretly drugs Linka to get her hooked. Linka then watches her cousin die of a drug overdose. And this is Captain Planet we're talking about? The Don't Litter Children's After School Special? Though I'm certainly not pro-drugs, I would argue that this is a propaganda episode, and to be careful what you pick up from it. Unsurprisingly, this episode is swept under the rug of cartoon history, but it's a good example of a cartoon directly trying to manipulate you. I would actually recommend watching this episode if you'd like to see an example of that. As before, I've put the link in the description. But according to my house rules, dealer always loses. Number 5. Robot Chicken. I would argue Robot Chicken can be even better than Family Guy at offending your every sense. Because I fucking Did you love Toy Story as a kid? Well, Robot Chicken's got you covered. Etch, what's going on up there? It's here to destroy your innocent childhood memories and replace them with jokes about brain damage and suicide. It can be incredibly clever, but still, there's no holds barred on these jokes. This is one of those shows I haven't watched every episode of, but I have to admit, from the ten or so episodes I have seen, it does very clever off-color jokes. And the Star Wars episodes are among THE best Star Wars parodies ever made, no exceptions. Obviously, it wouldn't be on this list unless it could be in very bad taste with some of its jokes. But if you can put up with that, it will give you some of the most unforgettable popular culture spoofs you'll ever see. Preface, I'm really sorry about the hospital. Call me by my real name. Four face! I'm holding four straws in my hand. If you choose the shortest one, you die. If you choose the longest one, you live. The other two will determine whether or not I throw bleach on your costume or we drink hot chocolate together. Number four. <laughs> Donald Duck. The Führer's face. That's right, Donald Duck. Nowadays, Donald spends most of his time hanging out with Sora and Goofy. <laughs> But long before that, Donald starred in his very own American propaganda film, where he was a Nazi in Germany. Apparently, this cartoon was actually put out in order to try and sell war bonds for World War II. It's actually considered a prime example of American propaganda during World War II. Like everything in Nazi land is shaped like a swatsticker. Seriously, swatsticker imagery is everywhere you look. And the racial stereotyping is cringeworthy in this one. But that being said, I like how this cartoon lightens what can only be considered one of the bleakest times in modern history. Something about seeing Donald in this dark concentration camp strangely brings me comfort. I'd recommend giving it a look. Number 3. South Park, episode 200 and 201. I already covered this in my top 10 South Park list, but it's just too big a controversy to not at least mention. Oh, thank God. Hey, Muhammad. This is among the biggest controversies in animation of all time. While Westerners generally have a more lax attitude to their most common religious prophet, there are groups of the Muslim community who are not so lax about showing images of the Muslim prophet. This episode caused a group of Muslim fundamentalists to make a direct threat on Matt and Trey's life if they aired imagery of the Muslim prophet, as well as citing their work address to prove they meant business. Fox took this so seriously that they banned any reference imagery whatsoever to the Muslim prophet before airing the episode. I play the uncensored final speech in my South Park video as it was personally something I think everyone should hear. If you haven't seen episode 200, be sure to track it down and watch it. It's something you should definitely watch at least once. 
<clears throat> Muhammad. Oh, not again. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Jungle Jitters. The Censored Eleven. There are 11 Bugs Bunny cartoons universally banned that are known as the notorious Censored Eleven. Most of these cartoons are simply racist towards African Americans. My hair's cold black, but my name's so white. But Jungle Jitters is quite amazing. It doesn't matter what color your skin is, it is racist to everybody. Caucasians are portrayed as money grubbing, slimy white trash. African Americans are portrayed as beastly cannibals? It even manages to be racist towards women. Racist towards them. How is that even possible? I don't know how you can be racist towards a woman for her gender, but this cartoon manages to do it. Now sentence you to be man and wife kissing bride. That'll be two dollars a plate. What the hell was that? Clearly, Jungle Jitters was made by an alien from another planet. It is among the most impressively insensitive racist things I've ever witnessed. I guess you can watch this one, but personally, I don't think this one's worth your time. They all get an indigestion. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. And the number one most controversial cartoon of all time is... Drawn Together. Imagine if there were absolutely no holds barred on a cartoon. Absolutely none. There's no particular episode of Drawn Together that is the most controversial. Just Drawn Together itself is the most controversial cartoon I've ever seen. Where to start? It contains grotesque murder, necrophilia, cannibalism, racist jokes, and lady parts that turn into massive tentacle monsters. Is this beautiful? It is so ruthless that it actually makes South Park and Family Guy look sensitive in comparison. But you know what? I actually heartily recommend Drawn Together. It's among my favorite animated shows of all time. It sets out to be the worst of the worst, but it also ends up being charming and meaningful throughout that controversy. What amazes me about Drawn Together is that you actually find yourself drawn into the character's troubles. It is the most utterly vicious and ruthless cartoon ever made. It gleefully shatters taboos you didn't even realize existed, and it wallows in the worst of the worst, and mercilessly mocks anything in its path. The show is actually really clever in many of its messages. Like when they discover the racist Warner Brother characters of the pre-1960s locked away. It has a lot of very thought-provoking messages among the carnage and disturbing shock scenes. It is the most batshit insane cartoon ever made. But if you can tolerate that carnage, I definitely recommend watching the series at least once. As once, maybe, or you can stomach. Maybe I'm just the older generation now, but it feels like cartoons like these were willing to push the envelope a lot more than the ultra-safe tweeny Nickelodeon stuff we get nowadays. It all seems very safe and corporately mandated. You know a character's not going to make a sexual reference, imply violence, or do anything that would make the censors even look over. And personally, I think that's our loss. We should want our senses clawing through our cartoons and sitcoms. It shows that we're saying what we want to say, not what our senses want us to say. What cartoon do you think should have been on this list? If you have a suggestion, let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Please note the disclaimer. It's time we wander to that weird corner of YouTube again. There are certain rules most cartoons follow that allow their cartoons to be ticked off by the censors. However, sometimes a cartoon will give the big middle finger to these rules. Good night and fuck you. Often these highly controversial cartoons will be banned in many countries or censored to make them watchable. Reasons can range from racist jokes, graphic violence, or even our hero doing something not so heroic.
I really enjoy talking about controversy, so today we're going to take a break from mainstream TV and look back at the top 10 most controversial cartoons of all time. Number 10. The Flintstones. Winston Cigarettes. <coughs> Something I never realized before is that Fred has been a massive marketing sellout since his creation. He's pushed bush beer, grape jelly, minerals, Denny's, cereal, NFL, cigarettes? You will be amazed when you see this commercial. Within 1 minute and 21 seconds, this commercial manages to objectify women, mislead viewers about cigarettes, and cause lung cancer to Fred and Wilma. As you could imagine, a company could only get away with this a very long time ago. It's both weird and intriguing. If you want to give it a look, I've posted the YouTube link. Number 9. Family Guy, Partial Terms of Endearment. The only Family Guy episode that has so far not been allowed to air in the United States. It tackles... Abortion, and I feel like I just lost several subscribers just by using that word. Basically, Lois becomes a surrogate mother for her old friend who can't have children. In the months that follow, the biological parents are killed, of course. Despite Peter's objections, eventually Lois decides to choose abortion. I don't want to give this one too much attention, as I think it was purposely made to be as insensitive as possible, so it would get banned. Now, Lois, I'm here to save the unborn. Once they get out of the vagina, they can go fuck themselves. It's really nothing to write home about. Feel free to check it out if you want, but I'd personally give it a skip. Number 8. Invader Zim. Zim was one of those shows that was never huge, but it developed an underground cult following. It was everything dark, twisted, and disturbing about Nickelodeon times 10. It was the bloodthirsty Cobra of Nickelodeon, portraying all of society as this zombie-like, grotesque race. For those who don't know, it's a show about an alien called Zim, who's sent by his race to the useless planet of Earth? Because he's too incompetent to be sent to invade a real planet. The series was cancelled after about 45 episodes. One of the suspected reasons for this was its most macabre episode, Dark Harvest wherein Zim goes around his school harvesting organs from each child in order to make himself human. But Zim also has a brilliant sense of humor. So, you can see, children, that our whole society is nothing more than a perilous house of cards. Destined to collapse under its own weight. And stands far above the usual tweeny sitcoms we get in Nickelodeon nowadays. I can't think of a single character in this show I didn't like. And I still hear friends quote lines from this show, even a decade after its release. A room with a moose! Nah! Wait a minute. If you can find a copy of Invader Zim, I'd really recommend checking it out. The knowledge, it fills me. It is neat. Number 7. Dexter. Root removal. So you're all then. Yeah, we're gonna go fuck up your 